Uh, hello there people, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my Let's Replay of Panzer General. So, the Grand Campaign Part 48, Kharkov Part 4, um, Axis Turn 10 with 13 turns remaining. And, as you can see, the weather finally changed. Well... Now, this is one thing I want to discuss with you guys. When I said, you know, let us pray for warm and w warmer weather, I was talking about Panzer General, not in general warmer weather, you know. <laughs> in general, you know what I mean. Outside, because this heat wave in Europe is just killing, it, killing me. 37 outside, I have 30 degrees in the apartment. Yeah, I have a fan here, but, uh, you know, to cool, but I don't want to turn it on, otherwise, uh, you know, it will mess with the recording, uh, but, guys, take it easy, you know, <laughs> no, just kidding, for those of you who are even worse off at the moment, uh, my sympathies, you know, I hate the heat. Uh, but many new things have happened in the last week or so, since, uh, as I told you, I was not able to upload the previous video so I had to divide it in two parts and then it worked I also had some other things to do but four new subscribers like this you know and now 80,000 views and you know thank you guys thank you uh, I hope I will live up to your expectations um, also uh, well other things I will say later but um, uh, yeah, I took a short vacation, vacation, went swimming, um, returned yesterday evening. Uh, ah, and now, like I said, since the weather is finally okay, in the game at least, outside, you know, you could just kill yourself. Now this is the ground map, uh, this, uh, this is the air map, and... I believe this will be our last video of Kharkov, and then finally we'll go to Kursk. Um, it's about fucking time. Okay, and yeah, I've studied the battlefield, just to, you know, to see what to do next. Now we will retire some of our tactical bombers to the southeast, also some of our fighters, since we don't need them any longer. Um, but we'll keep, of course, at least some of our fighters uh, in the north for scouting purposes. Okay, yeah, so this is it. You also fly south. <coughs> yeah, what I wanted to say was... I was, tra I was traveling to the southern part of uh, our country uh, via train and I've met a group of... Uh, students um, on vacation from Belgium um, and we had a nice discussion they didn't recognize me I'm not sure why you know I am celebrity on YouTube or not <laughs> no no but we had a good discussion I was a sort of a tour guide you know explaining things like can you drink tap water and sort you know um, and like I said then I spent a couple of days swimming in the river that is a border uh, between uh, our country and Croatia it's called Kolpa and um, it has like very nice 23 de degrees Celsius and yeah something to cool you off in the middle of this heat and I wish I could be there also today but no duty calls and I'm not talking about Panzer General it would be possible to make a new video tomorrow of course but um, we'll get to this part okay now 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 babble 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 um, now let us focus on the uh, western side of the battlefield on the left flank here since we cannot retreat our fighter to any airfield we'll do some strafing but 
will remain in the area of this airfield, which we will take over, not on this turn, but on the next one. Why not on this turn? Because our Tigers are basically, oops, sorry for the mouse, out of fuel. And these bridge engineers cannot reach the airfield just yet. Center, also fuel. Yeah, you can advance, or maybe not. Let us give everybody fuel. Everybody that is slow, of course. So you, you. Yeah. <coughs> I'm just thinking, um, perhaps I should save this now um, on play, you know, since I get the feeling that screening will start soon and we have two stukas that are basically rookies and also some of the stukas you know that have like two stars of experience so we should for the off screening leave them be uh, I mean leave the Soviet units be so we can um, you know get more experience for our inexperienced units okay so here we are now North, we will not attack since this Stuka already has full experience. So we can can we do some scouting? Maybe here to the west and here in the ah, I mean, okay, here now we have an opportunity to use our Stuka with four stars of experience. actually too good a result I was hoping you know that well okay but <coughs> this one needs more experience for sure good fuel advance 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 and you also and will bypass um, this anti-tank gun and move where do we move actually let us go north and we'll use our units in the center to take over the city of Belgorod now for the very eastern part uh, yeah, don't think we'll need th uh, three of our auxiliary units with only one objective, uh, non-victory objective remaining, and we are al already have in the area bridge engineers uh, our own. So it's just the question if somebody has occupied this um, non-victory objective. So we'll have to check. Yep heavy anti-tank gun so no head-on attack as you can see will suffer so no no let us soften it up first so yeah I was talking about my duties and yeah now perhaps since this will not take long um, I should explain um, I have decided, uh, you know, I was talking about the refugees in the previous, uh, in some of the previous videos, and I have decided, you know, to put my money where my mouth is, and um, I started volunteering, um, and I have this first student of mine, uh, he's from Afghanistan, um, let's call him Asman and um, he came here in Slovenia as a refugee uh, about two years ago um, and uh, well I am teaching him both uh, Slovenian language I mean our language um, and English yeah yeah I know uh, I, he cannot afford a very expensive instructor so I have to do <laughs> No, no, this is volunteer work, so 
this is why uh, and uh, he's a sort of you know s uh, usually you get this stereotype about people who who are immigrants you know like they will come here only you know to keep pick up uh, social security checks and do nothing but he already has a job he's a cook in a restaurant and uh, also um, <coughs> by now he has learned enough of our language uh, so he can com communicate you know uh, about basic things you know i'm not saying he can read some heavy literature but everyday conversations uh, but english for him is almost a completely new language um, and today we had our third lesson and uh <coughs> and we've started you know with him being able to say yes no thanks and that's about it and after the third lesson i have to say he's a very clever guy you know uh, today i was so proud uh, because on his own on a court uh, because we meet also tomorrow he said to me uh, see you tomorrow and I was like wow uh, you know third lesson like less than three hours of work and <laughs> well I'm, I'm proud of him you know and also I feel good about myself so <laughs> that's always the thing when you help others well it's inevitable that you, s you feel good about yourself as well and I, d and I don't think there is anything wrong with that you know mm. well you know what I mean ok now we'll bomb this infantry so my point was if you ever come to our country and somebody you know comes out uh, from the kitchen and says um, hello there people my name is Asman and I'm your chef for tonight <laughs> <laughs> That's probably my student. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, mm, what I wanted to say was, well, let us give back something, you know. Uh, just imagine, just imagine his situation. He came across the world from a country that, well, really had nothing to offer to him you know no education nothing constant f constant fear of some crazy ma maniac you know um, you know what I mean um, there are some unsavory types in Afghanistan and he, he got out of it you know and and he came to a country basically speaking no languages now he speaks a little bit of Slovenian has started learning English uh, trying you know to uh, actually I'm tutoring him for uh, these exams that uh, are in the autumn and uh, he's making something out of his life and I'm I'm honored to be a part of this I just hope that I won't let him down you know um, that he's so eager to learn we actually studied uh, once, uh, well, le on Saturday, this Saturday, um, we studied, Saturday, you know what I mean? Some people wouldn't even go outside on Saturday or would just, you know, uh <laughs> want to have fun. But no, he said, do you have time? I said, I do. Well, he said, let's study. And I was like, wow, <laughs> wish I had his enthusiasm. Um, Okay, what to do with these guys? <coughs> yeah, I'm overthinking now again this whole situation since I have already decided and I think you'll agree that we have to finish with Kharkov as soon as possible since yeah, you know it is time we move to something more interesting like Kursk and then of course Moscow 43 and then we go to Washington and then we start uh, no study I'm still in at studying and then we start both with Panzer Corps and some other LPs I have in mind so it won't be exclusively Panzer Corps but it will be I will say one video maybe two videos per week depends on the time I'll have 
Okay, so should we send now one more unit? Yeah, one more inf to help uh, our bridge engineers. Just in case. I don't think it will be necessary, but who knows. And this is it for the last unit. We haven't seen the casualties yet, I think. So these are the casualties. And as you can see, well, very few of them compared to other Russian scenarios. But uh, Kharkov is really all about the weather. And even, trust me on this one, even if um, the entire scenario was, you know, snowing and frozen everything, I think it should... It would be still possible to get at least a minor victory in the end. Uh, and this is what we are aiming for, you know, minor victory to get to Kursk. A major victory takes us directly to Moscow 43 and we don't want that to happen. Okay, so... And let us give the enemy its turn. Oh, just one more thing. Always paranoid about some units disappearing, no, not this time. And X is turn 11 with 12 turns remaining. Just for the sake of it and because I want to splash some cold water water on my face, um, um, I will take a little pause. Just let me see what happened. Air map, ground map, mm, nothing basically, nothing. It's very likely that the enemy is out of steam finally and out of prestige so two more turns um, yeah two more turns because we cannot reach the last victory objective two more turns and we'll have a major victory uh, save Kharkov um, 009 little pause be right back uh, yo I'm back uh, of course there wasn't much to study so let us finish with Karko well like I said two more turns first we'll strafe well okay air map ground map but you know nothing special happened so let us first here in the northeast strafe this anti-tank gun, then we'll also bomb it with our elite tactical bomber. And we fly west. This should do it, do it, but if not, then on the next turn. Yeah, it was enough, of course. So one more vic a non victory objective if in our, in our possession um, here we can move close to the river uh, what else ah, okay fuel for our tiger okay more bombing but this uh, rookie tactical bomber will have to retreat to the airfield Otherwise, we'll lose it. Another attack. Lovely. And... We take over the city of Volchansk. Advance some more. Here we go north, so also the non-victory objective of Korocha will be ours in the next turn. Okay, who are you guys? Okay, auxiliaries, of course. Uh, yeah. Uh, about uh, those Belgian uh, students, um, it's always, you know... Um, Interesting for me when I have to uh, tell people about our country and then you know, I have to remember uh, since they are always you know interested in cuisine, geography and everything and these are not the things I usually speak in English um, so you know have to dip 
uh, dig deep inside to um, to remember how some of our dishes are called our you know own dishes are called in English and everything uh, so yeah it's interesting actually um, also you know I learn new things uh, from uh, from other people you know from tourists if you want uh, from visitors um, ask them about their country stare at the particularly good um, great looking pair of um, <coughs> I mean um, I mean learn about culture you know everything <laughs> language also they were from the part of Belgium where they speak uh, you know their their version of uh, Dutch uh, uh, flav I won't even attempt to say it but those of you who know it uh, you know French and Dutch uh, you know um, in Belgium are spoken and they were from the part where they speak Dutch okay um, let us keep moving and here of course I forgot to bring at least one tactical bomber to assist our bridge engineers so no go for now <coughs> we'll bring one tactical bomber here uh, or maybe this one well one of them definitely uh, may maybe you maybe you you will attack and then fly closer okay These air defenses are now out of ammo, of course, so it's just target practice. And also, I was thinking about this uh, non victory objective of Proletarsky. Proletarsky, uh, something to do with workers. Um, proletar, prole proletariat, uh, working class, so Proletarsky. Yeah, my Russian goes well, thanks for asking me. <laughs> okay, so who do we use to scout um, what is going on uh, in the town of Proletarsky? I am, I think, this uh, elite tactical bomber. Ah, another anti-tank gun. So, we can attack it. Not bad. Not something, you know, to write home about either, but not bad. Okay. Now we get rid of this last air defense. Okay. <coughs> We're just thinking, uh, you know, like I finish my video with thank you for watching this, all the best from Mr. Critic and bye bye. Probably Asman who will say, you know, um, thank you for eating my food, all the best from Mr. Asman and good night. <laughs> yeah, he's such a nice guy, you know. Um, I'm always, um, you know, one thing uh, that I've learned about. Well, we usually call them, you know, just uh, Arabs, but, you know, there are a lot, you know, of ethnicities. But uh, one thing they share, uh, in my experience, they are, uh, their hospitality is amazing, you know. Um, sometimes we work, uh, well, sometimes we didn't have that many lessons, like I said, but uh, we worked also uh, where he's staying and, you know, always he's always asking can I bring you something from glass of water to a snack you know everything uh, he's just you know he's so kind and uh, the funny thing is uh, I didn't mention his age he's 30 now so it's well he's still young yeah but you know it wasn't also easy for him to just um, come here uh, to like I said to completely another part of the world start over and he did it you know he did it and wow 
I'm not sure if, well now I'm older, you know, I'm 38, but even 10 years ago, I'm not sure if I would be as brave as he was. Yeah, sure, you know, you don't need to be brave to escape from danger, but to, you know, like, start a new life, uh, start learning many things from begin from the beginning, like he did. Amazing, amazing. He's a real hero, you know. <laughs> uh, what to do with you? Uh, welcome close, closer. I don't want to bring a unit too close. Since perhaps the enemy will purchase more units and... We should... Ooh, bad idea. Bad idea, Mr. Critic. Uh, we'll keep this rack rec on here, so... Since these are all artillery, so we'll ca we can take over the last part of the victory objective of Kharkov. Give me a sec, my SIG is out. Okay, uh, well, some of the units we will just again move around or park in the airfields way back to the southeast. Yeah, and you, you need a lot of overstranging, but we have plenty of time. And you need some. Kursk is actually one of the scenarios I was very happy with also when I was um, playing it in... Um, I don't have to save this right now, right? When I was playing it in um <coughs> uh, Panzer General Forever. So yeah, it's still in my mind to publish the videos I did in the past of Panzer General Forever. But uh, they will be with the voiceover, you know, since they are already recorded um, and, um, well, you know what I mean. So, yeah, you can stay here, fuel of 11, we can still return to the airfield. So it's not as interesting as playing it, but I've made some promises in the past uh, and uh, eventually uh, I'm planning, you know, to fulfill the promise is to keep my word, you know, um, eventually, uh, don't rush me, please. Okay, so nothing to purchase, casualties, well, pretty much the same, um, one more turn, I will take a little pause after the enemy's turn now, uh, since I just want to think if I want to say anything else, um, you know, in preparation for the next video and everything, or perhaps something else, uh, uh, but not much, you know, I don't have much to say. Uh, Kursk, you all know it, and um, I'm sure we'll have good time uh, doing it together. Mm, yeah, okay, time for a little pause, be right back. Uh, yo, back for one last time. Um, like I said, nothing much to study. Uh, we have to destroy a couple of more units. So first, let us... Should we actually strafe now? This inf, I don't think... So. Uh, I mean, this anti-tank gun. Don't think so, since we have tactical bombers in the area. So, okay, you just park here. So you don't fall out of the sky. Now we'll bomb uh, this anti-tank gun here. Yeah, it went too good. Again. Um, fly here. Mm, you can finish off this fellow. Okay. 
Okay, and now I have to check something. I think this is the last unit remaining, so now we'll cheat a little bit. Hidden units are now off. Air units, ground units. Yeah, this time I didn't warn you in advance, but why? You know, since it's really... I was like 99% sure that this was the last unit alive. Okay, so... Uh, again, hidden units on. Um, yeah, so this is it. Now all we have to do is take over some of the non-victory objectives. You here. Um, you here. And of course um, we could go all the way uh, here and take over this one as well, but uh, when we destroy this unit the scenario will be over so <coughs> to avoid this we'll take over one victory objective and another uh, I mean uh, one victory objective and the airfield and the last victory objective is here so before I finish this uh, let us just summarize I'm the only thing I'm unhappy about at the moment is the weather the heat wave but the weather forecast, at least for our country, is that today we'll have some storms and uh, it will be much cooler tomorrow. So, I'm wishing you guys the same, since this is almost impossible to tolerate. Temperatures almost at 40 degrees Celsius. I think in Croatia actually they have 40 degrees, so god damn it, uh, too much. But the things that I'm happy about, like I said, new subscribers, thank you guys. More than 80,000 views, again, thank you guys. A lot of comments, which I still have to reply to, but again, thank you guys and girls, always. Uh, me taking a vacation, uh, thank you God, <laughs> you know, <laughs> meeting group of students from Belgium, talking to them all the way, like two and a half hours on the train, also thank what whatever powers I was not bored because of this and I was happy you know to meet new people um, cool river of Kolpa thank you river you know I felt so great uh, for the for a couple of days before I returned to our capital um, the opportunity also for me to help somebody um, you know uh, Asman from Afghanistan happy about it um, and of course um, spending uh, some time you know with my girlfriend because we were on vacation together and having a threesome with her and her girlfriend <laughs> no 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 no, no. <laughs> don't kill me honey I'm just kidding uh, uh, no <laughs> mr. critic stop you're an idiot okay uh, but uh, before we say goodbye uh, we will take over the last uh, victory objective just to see what happens so it's axis major victory uh, review the battlefield yeah so the last turn is overcast uh, ground map air map yeah, a lot of things to be grateful for, and the last thing, uh, but not least, finally, we are done with this bloody Kharkov, and uh, we can go on. Uh, so, yeah, casualties if you want to see it, but really nothing important. And and this is it. Go on. So quick and decisive yada 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 hopelessly disorganized um, so now we are at the gates of Moscow and it's time for us to take the Kremlin and force the Soviets to surrender yeah but of course we'll go for a minor victory and go to Kursk before we go to Moscow for three so this is actually uh, now we'll start with the third to last scenario so Kursk, 
Moscow 43 and Washington and this is it for Panzer General at least for a while any suggestions please let me know still have time to voice your opinion and uh, well in Moscow 43 we'll have Tiger I mean Panther Ace but in Kharkov we'll keep our Tiger ones we will not upgrade to Panther this I don't like Panther this uh, so yeah um, nothing else to say um, uh, now I will, I will get to uh, to replying to the comments so uh, thank you for watching this all the best from mr. critic and bye bye